Magnus Jarm, technical manager of Prima, otherwise known as Yarmanak, we want to update this technical video. Thank you for those who spent the time to like, share, subscribe, and also interact with us. It's been very well received. Thank you very much for your support, guys. This week, we're going to cover the spot monitor interface, the NVR 2104, 2108, and also 2116 devices. Uh, the other Dash 4KS2 models can be used with the XVR series and also the NVR series devices. Real easy, clean solution uh, as for remote monitors, uh, as a we all know that our products don't have a BNC output, so this gives you a full HD image across a network solution. Also this week I have a nice giveaway for you. Uh, the guys at C-Tech have given me a NC951 kit, and also courtesy of a Prima, we have a Google Home Mini to be given away. So what I need to do to win any of these devices is please comment Almanac below in the comments. Thank you again for all your support. I got get one set up with you. Comment, like, share, subscribe. Thank you very much guys. Firstly, the thing I would recommend you do is in a device you are only pulling images from for your uh, public display monitor is uh, to create a user for a specific device. So all you need to do is log into the recorder that you've been putting streams from. I log into that using uh, its username and password. Uh, go into the setup of the device. Go into account, uh, as you said, I had one set up previously. I'll just delete that out. Uh, go to add user. Uh, call it spot for this. Go to username and password. Uh, again, you can uh, limit this uh, user rights, but to use it and create whatever ones you like. I'm just going to have user rights just for now. Um, and I can just remember that IP address 20.53. Uh, this is the web page of the device, the public display monitor. Um, it works exactly the same way if you're using it from the front end of the device itself. Um, the terminology is exactly the same. So I'm just going to log in here. As you can see, uh, it says no hard drive. Again, this is purely for the uh, purpose of recording and uh, displaying images and not recording. Uh, but the, the principle is exactly the same. If you would be pu pulling images from one recorder to another uh, to have uh, two time forms of recording. As you can see, there's no uh, channels displayed on the left-hand side pane here. If you go to the main menu of the recorder, um, if you've got a large system or even one device, you can click device search and it will uh, look for the DAWA products on your network. As you know uh, from what we looked earlier, I'm for 20.53. And also the other thing is important, obviously the port is correct, so the port that you are adding a device with, if they are wrong, it isn't going to communicate and it's not going to give you uh, images. So all I'm going to do is go to manual add here, um, what I can do is just type the IP address of the device, uh, obviously using the username and password I set up earlier. Uh, what I can do, if I connect here now, uh, as you can see it's got channel number 16, so that is now reporting I have 16 uh, channels available for broadcast from the device. If I press OK and press refresh, as you can see, it's pulled through all images in one time. So if I only got four uh, images to be displayed, happy days, that's great. But obviously, if you only want to add one image, I should do that in a second. But if we go back to the preview page, as you can see now, I have a panel with uh, four images. If I just click on any one of them, get a few seconds to pull the image through. There you go, there's camera number one, labeled camera number one showing your Prima car park. If I go back there now, I want to add uh, one specific channel. What I can do is go to manual add, and then go 20.53, put in my username and password. Uh, what I can do if I set up, is only gonna add the one channel here now, look, press okay, and then press okay again. And I'll refresh my channel. Give me a few seconds, there's the port number, that was the same. That is now going green. I go back to my preview page, as you can see, camera number one is there. What I can do, um, I can either add additional channels, channel two, three, and four, whatever it may be, or I can also edit that particular channel number. Just go to the setup tab, hit the modify button. Uh, if I press connect, it's gonna look, as you can see, it says 16 channels available to me. I wanna change this to channel number two. I press okay, and then press refresh. I go back to the preview page. It's still labeled as camera number one, because that's the input it's connected to. But as you can see, it's putting through the feed from camera number two. Um, if I only wanted one image uh, displayed on my screen, there you go, I could just use that. Uh, or I can add additional ones. So I'll add, change that back to channel number one. I can, uh, I can edit that if I press connect. It gives me a list of channels I want to display, so I want channel number two there. I work this main page. 
Let's go back to channel number one. Hit this. That then is going to be camera number two. If I want to add additional channels, I can. Again, I can add channels three, four, all the way up to channel two, no matter what channel number, I can import that in. Real simple, really easy to do. Um, we get loads of phone calls regarding this. Uh, loads of people have asked me to do the video on this because they have struggled with this. But it is exactly the same if you're adding multiple devices. Works with the uh, XVR series recorders and also the MVRs, doesn't matter. Dial into dial, it, it'll pull the images across. So if you are putting images across multiple recorders, or you're putting images in the spot monitor interface using the MVR 2104, 2108, or 2116 4KS2 models, this is exactly how you do it. Really easy, real simple. Um, any problems, don't forget to speak to the Prima Tech support team. Thank you again for all your support. Please like, share, subscribe. See you again soon.